Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Wednesday edition of Mid Morning Manna. Let me just remind you, we have a midweek Wednesday evening service at 7 o'clock p.m. And I'd like to invite you to come visit with us. If you don't have a church home where you attend regularly, then come visit with us at North Harrison Baptist Church right here in Ramsey, Indiana. Lonnie Mattingly here, and we're in the auditorium of North Harrison Baptist Church right now. And let me just tell you this, we have a new program that it's starting called King's Kids for elementary age children and uh, for lower elementary kindergarten, really through the fourth, fifth grade, uh, right up till they get ready to go into uh, middle school. And uh, it's called King's Kids. Be meeting every eve every Wednesday evening when we meet for our Wednesday evening prayer service here downstairs. The boys and girls will be meeting and having a great time and having contests, singing songs, memorizing scripture, and hearing Bible stories. It's going to be a great time. And so get involved if you can. Uh, bring your youngins with you. You come to prayer meeting. Let the youngins go down. Have a great time there. Excellent uh, workers. It'll be a blessing, and I think you will uh, approve of it. So get in on that if you can. Let me just remind you, this week, we're talking about daily renewing the inward man. That's our theme this week on Mid-Morning Manna. And on this Wednesday edition, as we think of that daily walk with the Lord, we think about uh, taking up that cross daily that we talked about Monday and talking about reading the Word of God on a daily basis like we talked about on Tuesday. And today, I want you to think with me about having daily time of prayer with the Lord, daily prayer to the Lord. Over in Psalm number 86 and uh, verse number three, and I'm going to get down to it, but I'm going to start reading in verse one, but verse number three is where our text is today. It says this, bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. So what's this psalmist doing? This is a, a prayer of David. He's praying. This is actually a prayer that David prayed to the Lord. He said, preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou my God, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. David already, here's the Old Testament. He's already saying, he's saying, I'm holy, at least as far as you're concerned, because by faith I'm trusting in you, Lord. He said, be merciful, verse three, uh, he said, be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. There it is again, that word daily, every day, every day bearing my cross, every day reading the word of God, every day having a time where I talk to God in prayer and pour out my heart and believe him to hear and answer my prayer. Let me read just a little further. He said, rejoice the soul of thy servant for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Well, isn't that something? What a blessing, what a promise, what a statement from David, the king. And he's just pouring out his heart to God, saying, God, I know you're hearing my prayer. I know that I'm already holy in your sight because I'm trusting in you. I've, I've believed on you. I've received you. And uh, he just made it real in his life. And I hope you have a prayer time every day where you talk to God, you know, having a prayer time where you pray for your family and your loved ones and pray for God to use you, all these things, but where you just go to God to spend some time with him and just to pour out your heart and uh, tell God what your personal needs are. Hey, I had a question I like to ask every now and then. I've mentioned this before, but I, I want to mention it again. If God answered every prayer that you prayed this week, would there be more people in heaven or would you just have more things? Maybe not in heaven yet, but already prepared and ready to go to heaven. If God answered every prayer you prayed this week, would there be more people ready for heaven or would you just have more things? What are you praying for? What kind of prayer life do you really have? Is it selfish and all about you? Or is it seeking to do the will of God, to obey him, to have his blessing on your life, to use you for his honor and glory? I, I, I just want to challenge you to have a daily time of prayer with the Lord. It goes right along with daily time in the book. 
goes right along with having that daily time of taking up your cross and following him and willingly dying to self and say, I'm, that's, that's what that cross represents. I'm dying to self. I'm going to live for thee. You see, we need to have that daily renewing of the inward man. And there's a few steps. We've talked, talked about three of them. And again, I hope you'll be in church somewhere tonight. And then uh, tune back in tomorrow and Friday, and we'll have two more of the daily things that ought to be in the life of every Christian. It's important. It'll help you. It'll help you to grow in Christ. It'll, it'll build your confidence and your boldness. It'll give you more information that the Holy Spirit can use in your life to help you make wise decisions. I mean, there's just so many benefits to that renewing that inward man on a daily basis, daily renewing the inward man. Well, let's pray together and we'll hear another beautiful song. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the word of God. I thank you, Lord, that you've taught us so many things that if on a daily basis we will do them, we can be more greatly blessed. We can be more available to thee. We can be more usable. And Father, I pray you would use us for your honor and glory. And I, Lord, if there's anyone watching, listening today that's not 100% sure of heaven, help them, Lord, to make that most important decision of their life. And Father, help them to know that there are folks here who will help them, who will share with them, who will, who will give them the right scriptures to get that matter settled. And Father, we give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. a detour that went on for miles but standing here now looking back i can say lord i'm thankful some storms i thought i would never survive but here i am feeling so strong and alive the darkness is past and the morning is bright and i'm thankful Lord, I'm thankful like David after Goliath, like Paul and Silas after the jail. I'm thankful like Daniel after the lions. Lord, I'm thankful, thankful like Noah back on dry ground, thankful like Lazarus finally unwound. Every beat of my heart wants to pound. I'm thankful, Lord, I'm thankful. I've battled giants of failure and fear, shadows of doubt where my hope was unclear. But all along, Lord, you were hovering near, and I'm thankful. All the sins of my past were a thundering roar that echoed the guilt that I could not ignore. But it's nailed to the cross, and I hear it no more, and I'm thankful. Lord, I'm thankful like David after Goliath, like Paul and Silas after the jail. I'm thankful like Daniel after the lions. Oh